Cancer, just a bit of advice with the astrology before we get into the tarot for you. I really feel like it's going to be important that you figure out what works for you in the month of December. We do have Mercury going retrograde in your opposite sign in Capricorn the day after the new moon in Sagittarius. And Mercury is actually going to be moving back into Sagittarius as well. So what this really means for you is that you're going to be rethinking your health, your wellness, your routines. You may be getting confusing messages or there may be people who are telling you or you're just kind of taking in what people think health looks like or wellness looks like or what you should be doing with your life. But the truth is that's all very individual and personal. And you have a very beautiful opportunity to figure out what structures, what habits, routines work for you specifically. And it's really, really nice actually because we are going into a new year and you're really able to set off on a right foot if you just listen to what the astrology is trying to tell you. We do also end up off December with a beautiful full moon in your sign. As many of you know, the moon actually rules over your sign. So this is a very powerful full moon for all of us, if not a little bit emotional. It's right around the holidays, right around Christmas on the 26th. But this is really you embodying your energy and there may be an identity shift or you stepping into your authenticity and it feels like you are stepping with your best foot forward into 2024. If you're excited for this month's reading, then definitely be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification so you can always stay up to date with what's in the cards for you. I want to wish you all a very happy and blessed holiday season. I know that this time of year can be challenging for some people, so I'm really sending lots of warm wishes to you and your loved ones and anyone you know who needs it. I'm actually running a sale on my website, so you can get 20% off all of my services using the code GOODTIDINGS. This is good through the end of December, and I really think that this is just a great time to get a reading or Reiki session done. That way you can start off the new year on the right foot. By popular request, I actually do have gift cards available in my store as well, so it's never been easier to gift a reading or Reiki session to a loved one. I know lots of people have asked me about that in the past, so I'm really excited to unveil those as well. And I just want to thank all of you who have supported me and this channel, and I can't believe that we've made it through another year. It really is just such a gift to be able to do this work for all of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I am so, so grateful for you and wish you a beautiful holiday season. Cancer, while connecting with your energy, I was not surprised to see this butterfly card come out first. And honestly, this really just speaks to so many things I talked about in the intro. Um, I really do feel like you are going through some sort of transformation or metamorphosis in the month of December. I really think of the butterfly's journey as letting go of an old version of yourself because when a caterpillar goes into the cocoon, it completely dissolves. It doesn't even resemble its previous form and it reforms into this butterfly. And some of you may have taken some time. Some of you may have had to go within. Some of you have been isolating or going into hermit mode or just spending a lot of time with yourself or reconnecting with yourself. Um, there's just been a very inward introspective energy, but I do feel like there is this moment of you debuting in the month of December. You are coming out of the cocoon. You are spreading your wings. Regardless of where you find yourself in this process of self-growth, self-mastery or transformation, it is really important that you do have a routine or a daily ritual. This is actually something that this card uh, talks about in the book. The artist literally said, in order to bring this energy into balance, you should have a daily ritual. And this doesn't have to be anything crazy. It could literally just be you journaling at the same time every day or having a cup of tea or going on a walk. That sort of routine is supposed to help you in transition, but it's also interesting because it really does feel like that is something that I was just connecting with the astrology a moment ago. Now, sometimes when the butterfly comes in, there are changes in matters of the heart. There could be changes in relationships or in something that just means a lot to you. And I think with Mercury going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, maybe there is some miscommunication. Maybe it feels like there's something going on with other people who are close to you and you kind of need to come back to yourself. You need to kind of anchor yourself and stand on your own foundation first. Um, so I'm really seeing this butterfly coming in quite strongly for you. I think this is the perfect card for this month. 
I am going to shuffle some tarot for you now, and as I do this, I'm just going to give you the friendly reminder that these are general readings, so not all the messages that come forward are going to be meant for you specifically. Roles could potentially be reversed in this reading as well, so another person's energy could actually be your own energy or vice versa. Use your own intuition and discernment to figure out what applies to your own life, how these messages apply, and what should be left behind for somebody else. If this video doesn't resonate with you at all, it's really okay. Nothing went wrong. The messages just aren't meant for you at this time, but you're more than welcome to check out the videos for your moon or especially rising sign. There could be some guidance for you there as well. So what are the messages that we have for Cancer in the month of December? We do have the Five of Swords coming out first. Maybe you've had to walk away from kind of a losing battle. Like there was a situation where you couldn't really win. Someone was really in their ego. Um, I even see like engaging with this could even be self-destructive in some way as well. I really do think of the Five of Swords, especially in this sense, as maybe cutting cords or cutting ties with people or things that aren't serving you. Um, because it, it, it feels like, again, someone was almost engaging in self-destructive behavior and there's only so much you can do. We have free will. We can only try and help people as much as they are willing to help or be changed. I'm feeling like that's kind of an important message for you. Um, what are the messages for December? Tell me more about this Five of Swords. We do have the Hanged Man and the Page of Pentacles coming out together here. To be honest, I feel like there's someone who's very stuck in their views. Uh, could be an Earth sign, so that's Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But it honestly feels like young or immature Earth energy. And it almost feels like with this Page of Pentacles or Daughter of Pentacles, you are actually the one stepping into this energy, Cancer. You are focusing on what is in your power, what is in your control, and just doing the best that you can. That's something that was kind of a lesson that you came out of November with, or even October with. You can only be in control of so many things. You have to do what you can to take care of yourself and to help things run smoothly in your own life. Um, because I feel like there is someone, there there were energies around you or a specific person around you who's really stuck in their head. Could also be a Pisces energy here as well. Um, but it does feel like someone, to be honest, it, I almost get like a depressed energy here. Um, someone was maybe just very depressive, very pessimistic, has sort of lost hope. Maybe this was even you. Maybe you were a match to this yourself, but it feels like something is now shifting where you are focusing on, well, what can I do? Even if it seems small, even if it seems insignificant, very much about that butterfly energy as well. Like, what are the small things that you can do that makes your life just feel a little bit better? Or what do you need to say? What, what, what can you do to find a sense of peace or even to just move closer to that? What are the messages for Cancer? Show us clearly. We do have the Page of Swords here as well. Um, it feels like there is a lot of focus on communication. Actually, why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here? Some of you really do need to talk things out with somebody else. And it's like... With the Nine of Swords in reverse, it's almost like some of you have gotten so stuck in your own head. It's almost like you're deconditioning yourself. You're deprogramming yourself in a way that it feels like someone around you is still stuck on. And like, either this person walked away from you or you walked away from them. Either way, this was something that you needed to do in order to kind of cleanse your own mind, is what I am getting. Um... Interesting. What do we have for Cancer here? Yeah, I, I kind of do feel like with the lovers, there was a romantic connection for a lot of you. And 
I, I really feel like some of you are hung on someone who felt like maybe this person felt like your soulmate. Maybe this person felt like, I don't know, like your twin flame or something like that. Um, I don't really like that term, twin flame, because it's it's very misconstrued and it's often just used to justify toxic dynamics and toxic relationships. Um, but I, I'm just saying it because it feels like some of you are hung up on a person because of the potential of what you thought that was. And I see this kind of a lot in, in sort of the spiritual world and especially in tarot, although I feel like there's kind of been a move away from it. But it's like when you think someone is your twin flame or your soulmate, it's almost like harder to let that person go um, because there is that potential, there's that possibility. It feels like there, the love is there. There was a real love there, but there was something that was kind of toxic. I'm actually getting that someone was really, um, I feel like doing a lot of substances. Um, and kind of self-medicating. And maybe that's even something that you did together. But Cancer, I feel like you're moving into a different energy now. You're shifting. And you need to commit to what is best for you with the lovers. Because that's ultimately about commitment. We do actually have some good energy your way um, with the Four of Wands. Some of you are celebrating something. I do feel like there is um, some sort of achievement or some sort of milestone that you are reaching with the Four of Wands, um, which is really, really nice to see. I do feel like... I feel like there it could actually be some sort of recognition that is coming in the form of another person. Maybe there's an opportunity for partnership or collaboration. Like, you're being contacted by someone that's really exciting to you. Um, honestly, this doesn't feel like a romantic thing to me. It feels almost like a networking thing, actually. Um, or just like there's someone who is very established in some way who is reaching out to you. Maybe you're commenting on, on someone you follow and they comment back to you or something like that. Um, it, it just feels like there is this sense of achievement. And I do feel like there is collaboration. There is something ab about like going to the next level in some way, um, working together in some way. And that feels like the source of excitement for you this month, for sure. Like, I, I feel like there is some sort of celebration. Let's actually clarify. What is this Four of Wands about? We have judgment. So there is a very big milestone that is coming your way or that you are reaching, rather. Tell us more about this milestone. It's interesting, I keep getting something with like, substance or um, something about like, an anniversary, like someone being clean for maybe a year or something, or, or there's just some sort of milestone. That's only for a few of you, I suspect, but that keeps coming in. So definitely comment down below if that's you. But I feel like there is an important milestone. There is an important life turn that is taking place for you. It's like you are stepping towards your destiny. You are stepping towards your calling with judgment. The Magician. Wow. Yeah, major manifestations. Whatever it is that you've been manifesting, and like, I really was feeling, you know you're supposed to do something big. You know you're supposed to do something important. That's who I'm connecting with, with this uh, particular set of cards here. Um, and there's almost like a confirmation, and it might seem small to other people, but for you, it's just enough to kind of stoke this fire, to really spark something for you. And it feels like there is this manifestation. And for some of you, it actually could be a, a, like a lot of growth that's happening for you very quickly. Um, there, there could be some sort of advancement or promotion again. Um, it feels really, really good, actually. And I feel like whatever is 
coming in December, like whatever good news you're receiving, it feels like it comes with the promise of more in the future. It's like, it's a symbol of your potential. It's a symbol of where you will be. Um, so you're, you're kind of getting like a snapshot of your future or there's something that is becoming very clear soon. Very, very exciting. Um, and I feel like your hard work is paying off as well, particularly with the new moon on the 12th in Sagittarius. This again is very much associated with your habits, your routines. So if you do want to manifest something, it's really important that you kind of put that in a framework of your routines. So uh, imagine your future ideal self. What does that person eat? When does that person wake up? How does that person exercise or take care of themselves? It's like asking yourself all of these questions about that, that life that you want to live and implementing some of those practices in the now. That is going to help you match and mirror that version of yourself very, very quickly. Um, I, I feel like this is a great month to just do. Um, it, it feels like this is a month of action, honestly. Even though Mercury is retrograde, even though there could be some miscommunications, it's all going to help you figure out what works for you. So what is what are the other messages for Cancer? What is happening further down the line? Show us clearly, please. Some of you may feel like there are people who are attacking you or trying to put you down. And again, or I feel like this kind of comes from a place of insecurity. And I really don't see you being too phased by it. Like you're still shining your light. It's almost like there's people who are affected by you glowing up or you stepping into your power. I feel like there is some sort of success or achievement and someone is feeling a little defensive or jealous about that. Or maybe there's multiple people. Um, Interesting. Yeah, it could be like a fire sign with the King of Wands in reverse. This is Leo energy. Could also be Aries or Sagittarius. It is also the Four of Cups as well. It feels like you got recognized in a way that someone else feels like they should be recognized for. Or there, there's like this kind of envy that I am getting here. It's honestly not a good look. Um, I kind of feel like this person might have some narcissistic tendencies, which might immediately sound contradictory, but actually makes a lot of sense because narcissists lack a sense of self at their core. And when something isn't about them, they get triggered, they get activated. And because there is something that you are celebrating cancer, unfortunately, it does feel like there could be someone around you who is getting triggered. Maybe it's this person from the past. Maybe you're moving on or moving forward in some way that they feel that they still aren't because it feels like someone is feeling stuck still. Someone is still kind of in their own negative patterns and they don't have to be there. But I don't see that level of awareness in them right now. It feels like they're still blaming. It feels like they're still kind of playing victim. Like, why does this person get recognized? They're not even as good at this as I am or something like that. Um, it's almost like a covert narcissism that I'm really getting, um, which is sad. But again, like, I, I see you as the seven of wands. You're just this bright light. You're not even trying to make anyone feel less than. Yeah, King of Cups here. It feels like there's just this shift. And part of the shift is that you know you are leveling up in your life. You are becoming a match to much better things. Um, I really do, again, feel like some of you are focusing on your health, um, maybe even your appearance as well. Um, you're just really feeling more comfortable in your skin and more comfortable in your essence, in your energy with the King of Cups. And it's almost like the more steady and stable you are, the more grounded you are, the more upset other people get because it feels like someone is trying to get a rise out of you. They're trying to get a reaction out of you. And honestly, Cancer, I'm just not getting that. I don't feel like you're that phased by other people's childish behavior.
Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you have a promotion. Some of you are advancing. Some of you are growing in some way. There could potentially be a commitment here as well. Um, again, like I'm getting something about like a year or an anniversary, but this could actually be a contract is what I'm hearing. There could be some sort of contract that you are receiving, or there's just something about like a plan that is going to happen a year from now. It feels like there's some sort of significant timing specifically around a year, which is how I sometimes read the Ace of Pentacles. It's like a one year thing. Um, but I feel like there's just a lot of potential. There's a lot of stability. There's abundance coming in. And for some reason, someone feels like they've been left behind. Um, you might even be hearing from an ex. You might be hearing from people in the past, particularly with Mercury retrograde for you. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Any other messages for Cancer? Oh, I do want to say, I felt like some of you were going to have a useful contact or some sort of networking opportunity. This actually makes a lot of sense because right at the end of the year, on the 30th, Jupiter, the planet of luck, expansion, and opportunities, is going direct in Taurus, which for you is your astrological house of networking, of support, of community. This is an incredibly lucky time for you. And... Um, we have Venus entering into Sagittarius that day as well, which is very lucky. So it's like whatever it is you're working on or doing could be blessed. It could be recognized in a really big way. And we have Mercury going direct on the 1st of January on New Year's Day. So there's a lot of forward moving that's happening right around the new year. So if it does feel like throughout most of the month, it's like, well, when is this going to happen for me? It literally could be like New Year's Eve, New Year's Day when there is some sort of big shift or some sort of exciting news. Um, and I really just feel like you are celebrating. You're feeling really revved up to me, Cancer, um, which I'm just loving to feel. Any other messages? Any other messages for Cancer? Any other blessings? Um, we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're really fulfilled. You're getting very... You're getting your dreams. Your dreams are coming true. Um, I feel like there's just so many things. Like when you start feeling good in one area of your life, Cancer, it ripples out. And that ripple effect is going to reach all areas of your life. You know, there's a lot of interconnection with this Ten of Cups. There's a lot of harmony. There's a lot of interwovenness. And when you improve one area of your life, it spills over into every other area of your life, especially if this is involving health or routines. Um, it, it's just helping you feel more confident. And that, that confidence, that good feeling energy is going to attract more good things. Um, there could also be a beautiful relationship that is coming in. For some of you, for some of you, um, there could be a new relationship or a commitment that is deepening and that's the thing that's triggering maybe an ex or a person from the past. Um, it kind of feels like someone might have told you that your dreams or your desires were unrealistic or your expectations were unrealistic and now you're getting it in December and it's just making someone kind of hurt. Honestly, like butt hurt. It's like what this feels like. Someone is butthurt um, because you're doing well. You're proving them wrong. You're proving their worldview wrong. They're very pessimistic, sad worldview. But that's not really about you. What's happening for you this month, Cancer, is really, really beautiful. So I hope that you welcome that. I hope that that is exciting for you. Um, these are all the messages I have for you this month. I do hope that this was helpful. Definitely be sure to hit like and subscribe, especially if you've made it this far into the video. I do appreciate that. Um, I also have links in the description box down below for personal readings and Reiki sessions. Again, all of my services are 20% off using the code Good Tidings. Um, you can also find the playlist at the end of this video for all the other Zodiac readings. Again, you may want to check out your moon and rising sign. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, Cancer. Have a happy and blessed December. Have a great new year. Um, and I'm wishing you a very happy holiday season.
Take care.